so it was announced yesterday that the acolyte is canceled it's not going to get a season two quite honestly disney lucasfilm very good decision on your part business wise it's not drawing money it's not drawing viewers it's not increasing your subscriber base on disney plus so why continue the show when you know those things are not happening as I pointed out in my previous video, um, as a businessman, as a business person, good move. As a content creator, I would have loved to have seen a season two come out. Just because of the amount of content you can create from something that is that, that bad, that terrible. So now that the Acolyte's been canceled, Needless to say, the woke mob, the woke mafia are, they're out there and they're not happy. But before I dive into that, just want to say thank you to the 18,000 plus subscribers that have taken the time to subscribe to my channel, check out my content. If you're new here and you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like. And for everyone, uh, leave a comment before you leave. Those things help out my channel, help support the channel, help me continue to do this on a daily basis. And with that, let's dive on in, shall we? This is from the Daily Mail from Poppy Atkinson Gibson. Disney Plus fans devastated as blockbuster series is brutally axed in worst decision ever, fuming. It had so much potential. Well, with the lack of viewers, I can't imagine that that many people are devastated by the fact that the Acolyte has been canceled. Disney Plus fans have been left devastated after a blockbuster series was brutally axed and have complained it had so much potential. The show, which had a reported budget of $180 million and a star-studded cast, has been canceled just months after it first premiered. And while no official reason has been given as to why the show will not be renewed for another season, its viewing figures fell dramatically after the release of the third episode. But despite mixed reviews for the Star Wars series, The Acolyte, oh, you mean the critics trying to prop this turd up? Meanwhile, the fans, the fans voiced their opinion. They didn't like it. Fans have taken to X to express their disappointment. One wrote, canceling the Acolyte is one of the worst decisions ever. It was a series that was finally pushing Star Wars into a new, fresh directions and was set up for an even better second season. Say what? This post here, over on X, this user, the Acolyte being canceled is just another example of toxic internet hate. The show never got a chance to breathe and half the people hating it Never even watched an episode. It's not my favorite piece of Star Wars content, but it certainly didn't deserve to be axed. Um, most of the people that were watching it were YouTubers putting out content, mocking it. <laughs> so, and, and those were the few viewers that were left when we got to the uh, episode, what, seven or eight? Episode eight? So here's some posts that they pulled for over for off of X over at the Daily Mail. The Acolyte getting canceled is such a bummer. I wanted more. Disney canceled the Acolyte? Red-faced emojis. I thought the Acolyte was great, and it's been canceled after just one season. It definitely deserved another season to allow its beard to grow. <laughs> it's got massive potential. <sighs> Canceling the Acolyte is one of the worst decisions ever. It was a series that was finally pushing Star Wars into new, fresh directions. It was set up for even better seconds. Wow. Um, that's a similar tweet to this one. Hmm. So 
So I pulled I pulled this article up and uh I've never even heard of this website called the Pink News. Now they have a different take on the acolyte being canceled. TV Line also reported that the first episode garnered 11.1 million views across the first five days of streaming. The series beat Disney Plus competitors, including Doctor Who, Marvel's Echo, and X-Men 97 during its premiere. Well, those series didn't really set the bar too high. Here's where it gets good. Even after bigots and angry fans attempted to review bomb the show, with Forbes adding that the low approval rates were linked to the racism, misogyny, and overall harassment of the cast, which was, which has poisoned every conversation about the show. It still scored a solid 78% with the critics. Hmm. So the reason why the show failed and was canceled is because of racism, misogyny, and harassment. Wow. Here's another post on X. I'm so angry and disappointed. That's in reply to this one. Shout out to everyone who listened to the racist, homophobic, and sexist dickheads and uplifted their voices throughout the entire run of the show. You won. Flipping off emoji. And of course, accounts of Maggie of the town that follow her are the only ones that can reply. Typical. So back to the Daily Mail article. Another said the Acolyte being canceled sucks. Another question why it had been cut short. I thought the Acolyte was great and it had been canceled after just one season. And fans clamored for more episodes of the sci-fi thriller with one episode fan, uh, one upset fan commenting, the Acolyte getting canceled is such a bummer. I wanted more. But not everyone was disappointed, and some fans blamed the weekly release of episodes and poor viewing figures for the decision to axe the show. One wrote, not a shock here, they did this to themselves. The weekly release schedule absolutely killed them. No, the weekly release schedule did not kill them. There's an argument about that back and forth, whether to drop all episodes at once or release them on a weekly basis. Even though it's nice to binge watch something when all episodes drop at once, the weekly release allows for more talk, allows for more water cooler chatter, allows for people to get the talk going and maintain that momentum, positive or negative in this case, over a period of weeks. It gave everyone and their mother a chance to shit on each episode individually. Also, the story as a whole was meh at best. Well, yeah, the story was meh. The acting was meh. The pacing was meh. Meh. Um, the, the first actual Jedi fight scene you didn't see because it was in the forest. And so the majority of that fight you didn't see. So, but this guy here that I mentioned earlier, <laughs> counterpoint, it sucks. And yes, it did. Why didn't the target audience show up? Because it was made for such a small target audience. People were just like, eh. Yeah, it, should, it never should have existed. That's right. This show should have never existed. I guess they didn't have the power of many. <laughs> God, it was getting so good too. I'm so upset they canceled it. I think I'm going to cancel my Disney Plus membership. Good. Go ahead. You do you. Shows are not canceled because of hate. They're canceled because no one watched them. And that's precisely the case of the Acolyte. Nobody watched it. So there you go. There's a little fan reaction. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, what do you guys think? <laughs> I, I know the reason why the Acolyte was canceled. Because it wasn't drawing eyeballs. It wasn't drawing views. But what do you think of this? the take of some of these individuals that it was due to racism and misogyny and, and, and 
whatever other ist or ism or whatever you can think of, comment down below. And while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.